Unemployment insurance appeals. You have the right to appeal the ed's decision to reduce or deny you benefits. You must submit your appeal in writing within 30 days of the mailing date on the notice of determination and our ruling D1080CZ. You can download the appeal form D1000M PDF or use the copy included with each notice of determination that you receive. Mail your appeal to the return address shown on the decision notice. If you don't have a copy of the appeal form D1000M or cannot print a copy, you can write a letter to the EDD to notify the department that you want to appeal the decision to reduce or deny you benefits. If you choose to write a letter, include all of the following information, comma, full name address, phone number, social security number of the name, and mailing address of any representative. The reason for your appeal, a copy of the decision you are appealing or the date of the decision, any request for language assistance or special accommodations. After you file an appeal, the Office of Appeals will notify you of the time and location of your hearing at least 10 days in advance. An administrative law judge, ALJ, will conduct the hearing and give employers and claimants a chance to present their evidence. For more information on how to prepare for your appeals hearing, review Office of Appeals Hearing Information PDF from the California and Employment Insurance Appeals Board. Note, if you live outside of California, your appeal will be conducted by phone. While your appeal is pending, you must continue to certify for benefits. If you are found eligible, you can only be paid for periods which you have certified for. If you have met all other eligibility requirements, the ALJ will issue a written decision to you and your employer. The decision will include information about filing a second level appeal. Second level appeals, if you disagree with the ALJ's decision, you may file a second level appeal with the California Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board, Appeals Board, within 30 calendar days from the date of the ALJ's decision. Include the following information, comma, full name, address, phone number, social security number, the name, and mailing address of any representative. The reason for your appeal, the reason for your appeal, the appeal, case number assigned to the ALJ's decision. Mail the appeal to the return address on the ALJ's decision notice. The appeals board will confirm receipt of the appeal and advise you of the procedural options available. Generally, the appeals board does not consider new or additional evidence. However, individuals have 10 days from the date of the confirmation letter to ask to present oral or written arguments and new evidence. The acceptance of any additional evidence is at the board's discretion. The appeals board will issue a written decision. A decision by the appeals board completes all administrative remedies. Individuals who disagree with the appeals board's decision may file a writ of mandate to the superior court within six months of the mailing date of the appeals board's written decision. If you're having difficulty in reaching over at specialist, there is a help. Everyone should be able to get a hold of California and for free but reaching over at specialist seems always time consuming. Many people have a positive experience with Claimer which connects to its specialist less than an hour. I also use several times and it's worth to use. It is $20 per two calls, but I have an affiliate link to save $5 off. When I first used this, I got a call in 10 minutes, but now many people try it so please expect to get a call less than an hour. HTTPS colon slash slash www.claimer.com slash question mark refectables for 9A083, $5 off affiliate link. This option does not work all the time, but you also can use a phone trick calling 1-833-978-2511 and hit 134 quickly.